accident. The final report on how Brown Deer Police handled the domestic violence case involving Zena Houghton is now released. It clears police of any wrongdoing, but some domestic violence experts say not so fast. Lacey Crisp is live in Brown Deer with more on this report. Lacey. Yeah, the investigators report found that the Brown Deer Police Department followed policy. They acted appropriately, but the two domestic violence experts interviewed for the report disagreed. Brown Deer Police would only comment that they are still digesting the report and what it means for the department. There's pros and cons in the report, and we have to look at those. Robert Willis has spent the past few months trying to figure out if the Brown Deer Police Department could have done more to prevent the tragedies in October of last year. They didn't just walk away. They did go to the district attorney's office the next day, make their case for charging Radcliffe Houghton with something related to domestic violence. But the two domestic violence experts disagreed, arguing the department failed in several areas and needs better training. Overall, the documentation or lack of documentation show a lack of training on the dynamics of domestic abuse, domestic abuse laws. Brown Deer Police Department policy on domestic abuse investigations, best investigative practices and report writing. There were many opportunities to intervene for Radcliffe and Zena. For, for the next situation, we need to all do better. And I spoke with Zena's brother, Elvin Daniel, on the phone. He was obviously upset, but he told me he needed time to take it all in. Reporting live from Brown Deer, Lacey Crisp, today's Team J4. All right, thank you, Lacey. Well, workers at a local health care company still.